I usually jump on like petty drama as soon as possible to like capitalize on like the most views possible. However, I got addicted to Mobile Legends Bang Bang for some stupid reason. I was playing that way more than I should be. So I was delayed responding to Pokemane's cookie launch. And it's a good thing I did because like po you can say a lot about Pokemane, but she's usually pretty good at being careful at what she says and how she responds to criticism, however valid or stupid the criticism is. Except in this case, I think she just said the dumbest thing I've ever heard her say responding to criticism and that was all had to do with like the pricing of the cookies we're also going to talk about whether or not she just stole another cookie and just like renamed it and whether or not her cookies are actually healthy and that's where i think is the biggest issue like a lot of people are making a big issue about the pricing and like stealing another cookie but i actually think her calling these cookies healthy feels kind of scammy it feels like a lie at the very least but first, the pricing scandal. It was $28 for cookies. Now, you do get four bags, but the bags are very small. They're only four ounces. And the reason why this seems like a lot and people are freaking out was because these are just the midnight cookies you could get at Costco that were $10. And they were a much larger bag. I think they were like a 14-ounce bag. But it was being put online that was like, hey, you can get a bag of these cookies for $10 or you can get Pokemon's cookies for $28. That's insane. That's like... 2.5 times more expensive for the same thing. Now I did the math and there is a markup, but per ounce, because you get four bags and the ounces don't line up exactly. I did the math and Pokemon's cookies per ounce is $1.75. And the original midnight cookies were $1.40 per ounce. So there is a markup. It's only about a 25% markup. And for an influencer product, honestly, that's not too bad. That's kind of expected. And she could have just came out and laid out the math and she would have been fine. She would have looked all right. Because this 25% markup is nothing compared to like what they mark up t-shirts or sweaters influencers sell. But instead of just laying out the math, she decided to say this. I'm like, oh my God, $28 for cookies? It's four bags. That's seven, seven dollars a bag. I know, I know math is hard when you're an idiot, but... Uh... Like, if you're a broke boy, just say so. And then, like, there's other clips. Because a little after this, she goes on about being broke and stuff. And, like, if you can't afford it, just don't buy it. And that got people upset. That got, like, a 400 comment thread in, like, an hour or two. Like, people were not happy being called broke. Especially, like, millionaire streamers need to be careful when they start insulting poor people. Especially when, like, the reason why I'm bringing this up, because that's, like, whatever. Stupid thing to say but it makes it even more like ironic because everybody remembers this streamer. It doesn't really matter how much money you make or how much money you have. That's really the thing because I'm not asking you for a large financial contribution. If it costs $20 to sub, $20 is quite a bit of money. $20 is you can get a full meal for $20 and the difference of $20 and eating a meal is in that $20, like that's where it is. But a sub is $5. At maximum, in whatever your currency is, it's maybe $10. And it doesn't matter how broke you are. If you have time to watch Twitch, you have you have $10, truly. And she like goes on and like everyone was roasting her because she was like essentially just begging for subs. And she's like, how like people were just upset, like, how dare you? Like, you're a streamer, you have the easiest job, blah, blah, blah. Like everybody knows she got roasted, right? Including Pokimane. She decided to roast her for this. And she said, not to mention there are tons of people watch streams after a day of hard work or while being broke college students or magnitude of other situations where they need to be more frugal. Get these shitty takes off my timeline and off my streaming platform. Oh, how people change in a couple of years, I guess. I guess XQC must be rubbing off on her. And she already responded to this on Twitter, and it was a good enough response. I haven't sold merch in years, which is true. And like the markup on merch is way more than these cookies. I cap my donations. And frankly, if I wanted a cash grab, I'd be silly to do that through a startup because they're extremely unlikely to be profit in the first few years. Plus any profits we make goes directly back into creating more quality products. I hate when influencers say this so much. Like Mr. Beast says this a lot too. And that is like the most BS line 
ever. Like they're trying to say like, oh, I'm not even going to make a profit for a couple of years. I'm like doing this out of the kindness of my heart. Like, no, the reason why you invest your profits back into your business instead of just pulling out the profits and making a little bit of money is because then you can exponentially grow your business. So in the long run, you make more money. So that takes care of the money and like her like charging too much for cookies. I think it's a fine price point, like whatever, who cares? But then people are upset because she stole another cookie and just labeled herself. And when you look at the ingredient lists of the two cookies, they look exactly the same. The only difference is her cookie added mushroom powder. And once again on Twitter, she responded to this and like it was kind of like an okay response, but really said some odd things in here as well. They're not a dropship product and we own our formula. The cookies they're being compared to were also made by our manufacturer, Creation Foods, which specializes in healthy food. The compared cookies had one test batch sold before they retired. Months later, we partnered with Creation Foods and fell in love with the flavor profile of the Midnight Cookie. Okay, so it really sounds like you just took their cookie and added mushroom powder to it. But okay, going on. We then decided to work together to refine and improve the formula and we're really happy with the final product. While the ingredient list may look similar, I mean, it's exactly the same, not similar. Uh, they are entirely different in terms of ingredient quality, quantity, ratios, sourcing, size, texture of the cookie, blah, 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 blah. And of course, the vitamin D. Now, if you changed the like, quantity and ratios of the things in the cookies, the nutritional facts would also change. Because some ingredients have more nutrition than others. So if you look at the original cookies and look at the nutritional list, and then you look at her cookies and look at the nutritional facts, they're exactly the same values in every category. The only difference is the vitamin D. So all this reformulating really seems like you just added mushroom powder, which just gave you vitamin D. Like, I don't know why she didn't just come out and say like, yes, private labels are a thing. Every business does this. You take a product that failed or didn't do as well, or whatever reason you buy them out or buy the formula, repackage it, and use your name to sell the cookie. Every business does this, just say that. Why try to play these weird games? Like the people who are upset about this were never gonna buy a cookie in the first place. And your fans who are going to buy your cookies are gonna buy them no matter what. So just be straightforward with it. Just be like, I like these cookies. They went away. I got in contact with the makers. I took it over. I added some vitamin D because who doesn't like the D? And then I gave it better packages. Seems pretty simple. And then she goes on and talk about how like this has been like a two year passing project to create a brand that provides the healthy and yummy snacks that we deserve. Like Valky Ray did the same thing with Reflect and like all these influencers always talk about like how long they've been working on this product and like how much they're passionate about it. And like maybe there's like more snacks coming in the future. And like she's been working on all of this and this is just like the first product. But like how long does it take to just repackage a product and like change the packaging? It doesn't feel like it would be that much work. Like, I don't know why they tried to make it seem like they were like more involved than they were. But that's like the thing with these cookies, just everything about them seems misleading. So let's watch a clip of her announcing it. I quickly learned that I felt like there were only really two types of foods or snacks that people were marketing and promoting. I basically could only find snacks that were either like really, really delicious, but super high in sugar, super high in calories, made with a bunch of synthetic ingredients that I didn't understand or didn't know how to pronounce or really much of anything. Or oh no, not synthetic ingredients or chemicals. Only like natural products are healthy. Like. That is, <laughs> that has to be like one of my biggest pet peeves. Just talk, people talking about how like healthy stuff is natural for you and like non-natural or like chemicals are bad for you. It's like so annoying. There's like unhealthy synthetics and there's unhealthy natural things. Like if you decide to eat some mer mercury just because it's natural, it doesn't mean it's going to turn out well for you. Or on the other hand, was just the other extreme end of something, which is these quote unquote healthy snacks that are like no carb, no sugar, high protein, no gluten, no this, no that, no, no. And it tastes like cardboard. And so I just constantly felt like I had to choose between eating something yummy, but kind of feeling bad or guilty about it, or eating something healthy, maybe feeling like I did something good, but never really wanting to reach for it again because it did not taste good at all. In comes. <laughs> So you could either get products that were like low fat, low carbs, low sugar, 
that were like healthy for you, but they tasted bad. Or you could get stuff that were like high in fat, sugar, and all this other stuff, and it tasted good. But she says she has the solution. She has the healthy cookie that tastes good. Do you know how she made a healthy cookie that tastes good? She just added the sugar and the calories and carbs back into the healthy cookies. So it's very misleading to call these cookies healthy because it seemed like she was saying that all these other like healthy cookies that were low carb and low sugar tasted bad but hers were different they tasted good she kind of left out the part where her cookies aren't low sugar or low calories or low carbs the only thing you can say about her cookies is they have vitamin d and they're gluten-free something being gluten-free doesn't make it healthy so i don't honestly think you can call these cookies healthy because if you look at the two leading cookies which are chips ahoy and oreo they have about exactly the same or less carbs calories and sugars and it's also super misleading that they put a leading cookie down here and some of these values like it doesn't look like a lot because the values are so low but there's like a 50 or 60 percent increase that just doesn't exist. So they had a lie about other like traditional cookies to make her cookie seem healthier than it actually is. And I think that is like the biggest issue with this cookie. If you like the cookie, fine, but don't be fooled into thinking it's a healthy cookie. So like all these other things people are bringing up don't think are an issue. Like all that is pretty much like standard business practices, but they're just lying about it being healthy and no one seems to be talking about that. But whatever i guess she'll make like millions of dollars in a couple of years when she has a line of healthy products well quote unquote healthy products and i'll get a couple hundred views a couple thousand views on this video so i guess it all evens out in the end right